Today, I'd like to teach you how to find the mass percent of magnesium and nitrogen in magnesium nitride. To do this, we're going to find the mass first, and then we can find those percentages easy as pie. Hmm, pie. Bam, so the first step is to write the elements we see. So we have magnesium and we have nitrogen. Next is then to identify the number of atoms, and that's where the subscripts come into play. So there uh, are three magnesium, and there are going to be two nitrogen. Then we're simply going to multiply those number of atoms by the mass of each element. Those masses are found on the periodic table. So here's magnesium, 24.31. Nitrogen is 14.01, all right? So here we have 24.31 for magnesium, and nitrogen was 14.01. Then to find the total mass of the element, we simply have to just multiply this row on a cross. So there's gonna be 72.93 units of mass for magnesium, and then nitrogen is going to be 28.02. And then to find the total mass of the entire compound, guess what you're gonna do? Just add up this column. So it's 100.95. And there you have it, right? So that's the first step of the process to find the total mass. Now that we have the total mass, I'm gonna add a column to the table to find the percentages. It's gonna be easy as 3.14. Bam, so to find the mass percent of each element in the compound, we're simply gonna take the total mass of that element. So for magnesium here, we're gonna do 72.93. And then we're gonna divide it by the total mass of the entire compound, which was 100.95. And then we're gonna multiply it by 100. That is a simple percent calculation, part over whole times 100. And then when we calculate this on out, it works out to be 72.24%, all right? And then we're gonna do the same thing for nitrogen. Total mass, nitrogen, the total, not the atomic or the molecular mass or the molar mass, the total, all right? 28.02 divided then 100.95. And don't worry about the units either here because they will cancel. Whatever unit this is should be the same as this. And the same thing divided by one another works out to be one, right? They cancel. So this is gonna be 27.76%. And that's all there is to it. You can add this together to make sure you're, you know, you're in the ballpark there. It should be basically 100%. And this is what I want for you on your next test. To get there, it takes a lot of hard work, dedication, and practice. But keep at it, all right? Nothing in life worth achieving is going to be easy. So stick with it, all right? We got a, thousands and thousands of videos out there to help you do so. Check out our channel. We'd love to help you with more stuff. Not only for chemistry, but we've got physics and mathematics, all right? You can do it. Just keep working. Be well.